Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. What the hell? Who the hell is that? That piece of shit, Alec, uh, James Jones. Goddamn hippies! Fuck you, James. Affirming the consequent. Affirming the consequent is the fallacy of taking a true conditional statement, such as, if the lamp were broken, then the room would be dark, under certain assumptions like, it is nighttime and the windows are closed, and invalidly inferring its converse, the room is dark so the lamp must be broken. Anecdotal fallacy. The anecdote- Oh, this is the one that James Jones uses all the time. He uses an anecdote in order to try to talk about the thing that you're talking about and most often they are not equivalent and they are not good and this is the fallacy that you have to watch out for when it comes to the g-block and yes i'm calling out the g-block and that piece of shit alec uh, james jones he uses this constantly and he used it with again myself he uses it with jupiter with anyone he wants to debate with he uses an analogy quickly if you notice he goes into an analogy and then he uses that analogy, which is actually in itself a fallacy and a red herring, and then creates a straw man in which he destroys the straw man and declares victory because he's a cunt and an asshole. Fuck you, James. Wait, wait, let me ask you a question, GB, yeah? Let's say, like, yeah, you had, like, a, let's say, like, you had a basket, yeah? That had yeah. space for, that had space for, um, a hundred apples, yeah? And yeah. you're picking apples. And there's a field that's full of apples, millions and millions of apples. And there's some green apples and there's some red apples. And maybe there was like some mandate, right? Or you were instructed by someone to collect a, an, an even portion of apples, to fill the basket with an even mm. por portion of apples, a proportion of apples, right? So if, if, let's say if, and the, the capacity is 100, so 50 green, 50 red. If you had collected 50 green apples, right? Yeah. Um. And and the goal was to to have an equivalent uh, proportion of apples, right? Yeah. Right. So and 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 it, it was just by chance. So you you were collecting every apple you saw. It, it just so happened that each apple that you had seen was a green apple. So you, you just you know you put the apple into the bag uh, into the basket. And now there's fifty apples in the green basket. Would you discriminate in terms of the apples that you would select going forward? As in, would you specifically look for the red apples going forward? If I was if I was given the order to make it equal, yes. Right, but what would you be doing if you were discriminating in that case? You'd be discriminating <laughs> to do what exactly? That would be positive discrimination. But you'd be you'd be discriminating for equality, right? You'd be pursuing some yeah. kind of equitable. But that doesn't outcome. that doesn't pl apply in reality, does it? No, no, one second, please, Jupiter, one second, please. Thanks. Genuinely, hand on my heart, regardless of whatever's happened today, and you're muting me stuff. Hand on my heart, if you come on G block, I will fucking not mute you. I probably, like, you James, can ask Luke, James, 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 I've heard your words. Me. I don't care. I'm still not engaging you on G block ever, Why? ever, Why? ever you again. Have to talk to brother, that is brother, simply brother, finished. To I don't have to. No, Why? I actually don't have to Why talk to you talking? ever. It's called my, my personal human right rights. Now, right now. <laughs> yeah, and I said to you, I will never talk to you on a G block panel. You, you clarify my words? Shall I repeat them? May I ask why? Because I will never talk to you on a G block panel. Looks like we're going to see that's JJ here a lot, man. That's, that's not an explanation, basically. I don't, want, I don't have to explain myself to you. I will simply give you my, 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 I am not asking you, or I'm not, a give, this isn't a request from me, this is what I'm going to do, and I don't even have to explain myself, because I don't see you worthy of that explanation. That's what I mean. I don't see you as worthy of my explanation, I simply will never engage you and be on a panel with you on G-Block, and that is the way life will be from now on. Okay, uh, like, big up, uh, big up, big up. I like the integrity, man. James, did you use prejudice plus power against uh, Banksy? I'm interested to know, like, interesting. What do you think of it?
Oh, was that oh, racist? Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm asking. Privilege plus power. JJ lost his best, one of his best opponents. I've never seen Banksy so emotional in my life. I'm I emotional? Am I emotional? Does this look emotional to you? Yeah, yeah, you are. I've never seen you uh, in refusing a challenge in my life. What do you mean? No, no, it's nothing to do with refusing a challenge. It's, it's to do with value of my time and who I spent it with. I'm not I know, emotional I've never about seen you. James's I've never seen this position. Or something. What I've I am, what I, what I am, is I'm yeah. not engaging in someone who uses extremely. This is. Have you guys ever seen me on uh, on on Hamza's Den? Do you ever see me try to get on Hamza's Den? Do you ever see me even attempt to get on any Darwa channel? You know why? Because I know they're dishonest assholes and I don't want to be in their arena. It is a waste of my time. I have never in my in, in the last five years. Sorry, guys, guys, hold on. I'm still talking. In the last five years that I've been part of this whole, uh, you know, since 2018, since I've been part of this whole Speaker's Corner uh, street, never tried to get on Hamza's Den or any other Darwa Group's uh, panels because I know that they are dishonest individuals who are never going to let you actually have a, a fair shot at your argument they're there to they're wwe debaters they want the elbow from the top rope exactly just like this despicable sack of shit sitting here on my panel is the same uh, yeah. by the way that was a ad hominem and i acknowledge it uh, and the fact is and the fact okay. is that they only engage in wwe i crushed him i just dis- listen to how many times james in a day talks about how many arguments and debates he crushed, he destroyed, he obliterated, I owned him. This is the talk, this is the language of the low IQ fucking Neanderthal. There's no, yeah, there's no privilege here for you to speak. I don't give a shit about your fucking opinions. Okay, I want to talk about you. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, you freak. I'm going to talk about you. Fuck you, James. People like you are really annoying because, like, you're not a fucking moderator. You're just like, let him speak. Why? Yeah, because you, you want to hear it. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Because he's a cunt and an asshole. Listen to you. You build conversation. I'd much rather. So fuck off then, you can't. Why are you still here? With you now. Because I'm interested in what you've got there. Fuck off then. You've got to do Go on, jog on. Jog on. Jog on. Are you skinny? Go on, jog on. Go on, jog on. You're not, are you? You're going to stay, aren't you? You're going to stay, aren't you? So why are you a little fucking neck in? You shut your fucking mouth. You. Listen, why are you a little neck in, woman? You little slag. Chatting shit, my man. Let me hear your fucking. Because he's a cunt and an asshole. Fuck you, James. You're a fucking weirdo, bro. Kicking you off the panel, like, there, there's no consequence for it. Like, no one gives a shit what you have to say about fucking anything. No one likes you, no one ever tunes in to listen to you. Like, I'll remember you every day of the week. I'm not, I'm not, you're gonna talk to you. Mom, why do you keep fucking with Shut up, bro. Like, stop at me about anything. I'm not talking to you. Uh, uh, so what if I am? See, you, what does that mean, though? In your context, what does it mean? That you are losing your wits. What does it mean? Physically from your chest and dangling all over because you get your literally triggered on your tits. Sorry, your tits that are dangling from your chest are triggered to put the bank the dangling all over the place to go blah 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 because you are triggered. When you people say that stuff, triggered, I just don't get what you mean. Would you like a? Because I'm making a point. And I'm loud because like my phone's away from me. Yeah, I'm like making a point. I'm making a point because I'm driving my phone's away from me. You say, you say, you say triggered. triggered. Correction. You say triggered. 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 Shut up, you fucking weirdo! I never wanted to hear anything you had to say ever.